Hi, welcome to a new video. We're here, I have my water because me among everyone else is usually low on water, so grab your water. I made, um, in addition to my stickers, I added a Paloma sticker here. She cute. I'm, I decided to put on my The Beast shirt. If you don't know what The Beast is, which you probably don't, it's really unrelated to this video besides the shirt, but it is the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. So it's a four minute ride. I just looked it up. <laughs> so unrelated, but I love this ride. And when you're on it, your body's like, <laughs> and, uh, Love it. If you're ever in the Cincinnati area and like roller coasters, uh, you might want to check out The Beast because it rips. Anyways, welcome to a new video. It's September. This is my first half of September in a little video. I hope you like it. I hope you're staying healthy and safe. So um, I'm, I'm really only here just to say hello, but I hope that you like this video and thanks for coming. That's pretty sick. So I'll see you around on the next clip. It's Friday, September 3rd. We have two planned events for today. One, we have a premiere of my last vlog at noon, which is in three hours. And then I'm opening my secret Patreon shop at one. So we're doing a little bit of grand openings and I'm premiering today. That's what's on the sketch, and I'm just gonna work on putting addresses on envelopes for my Patreon rewards. I'm really ahead this month. I don't know, I mean, I, I ordered the stickers last month. I can show you the sticker reward. I ordered these in addition to the rewards I bought last month. So I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. So I got these ones too. It's just a little frog I did in my, um, uh, draw every day for a week challenge. So that's gonna be the sticker and the postcard design is the sketchbook spread that this frog was on. It's a complete set at this point. I usually don't order my postcards this early. Maybe it's because I took the mini original reward off that I feel like I'm ahead of the game, but I'm ahead of the game. My own game that I created. <laughs> I just opened my secret Patreon shop while I was eating lunch. I don't usually work while I'm eating lunch, but I got hungry at one o'clock, but also I promised my patrons that I would open the shop at one o'clock. So we had to compromise. We only had two hiccups during the whole shop opening. I was a little nervous because it is a whole new shop um, page. That's not my main shop page that I usually run off of. So I'm glad there were only two hiccups so far. It's been open for 48 minutes and just two little mess ups. So I'm super satisfied with that. The whole 
shipping setup on Squarespace, if you use Squarespace, is just so confusing. I think shipping is just confusing, but the setup on Squarespace is just like not helpful either. Um, on a plus side, Squarespace doesn't sponsor me, so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> But I'm gonna start packing the secret Patreon orders. Um, it looks like it's gonna be easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, so. <laughs> Bye. That's to try to make No, absolutely not. And that's too, it was, it, was too, it was too traumatic, so I'm just like, you know what? Oh, well, you had a rough situation. I did, I really did. What happened? It's just. Dodie. So this past week, I have been working on digital art. This is not a norm for me. I'm not typically a, a digital artist, but I made three different pieces that I shared and posted on Instagram, and I called them Digi Drawings, which I love that name for them because it sounds like Digimon, and I'm not necessarily a big Digimon fan, but I just like the phrase Digi Drawing over digital art. There's something fun about it. But yeah, I had so much fun layering textures on this landscape piece and experimenting with colors and what I could, could create with just lines and the blobby halftones in the background. I got really sucked into this piece and I also was a little scared. Sometimes I feel like I watch back art that people make and I'm like, dang, they were really confident while they made that. But honestly, I was like, what am I doing? Where am I going with this? But I do like how it turned out. <laughs> Um, I also got a lot of questions about what brushes I was using. So the main brush I'm using to draw is the Mercury brush that comes with Procreate. It's under the inking tab. I did make a few adjustments to it, but really this is the stock brush. And then I used some halftone effects on my drawings and I got a few questions about those. So I just blobbed in a bunch of color and then you can apply an effect under the adjustments area on procreate and use the halftone effect so that's how i did that i didn't use a halftone brush uh, because i tried the halftone brush and it was kind of hard to use so the effect worked a lot better for me there's something so nice about doing digital art after doing traditional art all the time and i'll tell you what it is it's that you don't have to get out any supplies. You don't have to refill your water cup. You don't have to wash your paintbrushes. You don't have to get out any supplies except your iPad and or whatever digital drawing supplies you use. And then you have the photo ready. You post it. You don't have to take any photos, edit anything. No cleanup necessary. I mean, talk about luxury, you know? Hey, it is Tuesday, September 7th. How are we doing? I am starting to edit this video a little early and realize I'm still having some really weak um, tech skills with the whole mic situation. Losing a bit of audio here and there. Really need to keep an eye on that, but I'm here to tell you about the things that I talked about previously that are gone. This past week, James, you might know him from my videos. He's my housemate and best friend. And he texted me and said, hey, remember that one time we talked about starting a YouTube channel? Um, do you want to do that? And I was like, mm, I don't know. I got on my Patreon and just typed up a little post to gauge interest. I was like, hey buddies, James and I think about starting to make some videos or maybe a podcast type thing or what do you what do you guys think about that? Thoughts, opinions, interest? And everyone was like, yeah, yeah, do the podcast thing. We like it, yeah. Anything you make, we'll watch. You should have fun with it. And I knew I was gonna get that response because typically when I reach out to my patrons, they are so supportive 
and genuinely interested. So that kickstarted us into podcast ideas. So James and I are starting a video podcast. Neither of us have experience making podcasts. I have experience making videos, but I don't have experience with like audio stuff. And as you may know, I'm not great with mics, so that will be cool. This past week, we've been researching audio equipment, how to do it, thinking about what we want to make. The podcast is going to be called Yeah Maybe, which sounds a little weird when you don't know us, but we both say yeah, maybe, all the time. Like, all the time. So it's going to be a cute little catchphrase. We wanted to pick a title that was neutral because we're not really sure what we're going to be talking about. As of right now, it's just going to be French chatting about miscellaneous things. So this past week, I designed some branding for our channel. So I made a banner for YouTube, a logo for our little um, profile picture, and I made a theme song, and I made an intro little video thing. So I kind of went all out. I'll show you guys the intro video with the theme song. It's super cute. It's really fun and casual and I'm excited to be putting some energy into projects that are not monetizing my art or anything really to do with being an artist. So I'm excited to just like send some energy in some other places. We have yet to record our first anything. So we've just been doing some tests with the mic setup that we decided on and video tests where we're gonna sit, what kind of desk we're gonna use. I made the channel. It is up and running if you want to subscribe to it. We probably won't have anything up by the time this video is up, but uh, it is there. I started it. So that's kind of what I've been up to. That like magically all the clips I was talking about this in were the ones that lost their audio, so. I'm gonna get back to work editing this video. I, I'm literally filming this so I can put it in the video right now. Bye. Yeah, like you'll be talking and like your own voice will cover it. Hi, welcome to the no, Yeah no, Maybe okay. podcast. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe. Are we recording? <laughs> Don't shout me. <laughs> I made you. <laughs> Do not show me. Do you want to tell people what time it is? What time is it? It's like almost midnight. Is it? <laughs> yes. I work out at 7. What? 7 what are we doing? <laughs> We're not even making anything real. We're just making this up. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe. Are we recording? So, the tarp thing you put on top of the tent? Good night. Good night. <laughs> I look shorter than you. You got a boo boo? No, I don't. Willie. Yeah, but look at this. Hello! And we are live. I'm recording this. Holy crap, it's loud. Not talking loud at all, and here I am listening to myself louder than I'm actually talking. <laughs> I thought you were screaming. No. <laughs> it looks fine. All right. I would prefer this lens just for looks. But uh, I can probably. How far away would we need to be? We could put the. It might work. Oh, you're recording now? Yeah, I'm recording. All right. Well, let me start over then. Hi, welcome to it's the podcast. It's not recording. Hello everybody and welcome to the Yeah Maybe podcast brought to you by water. Your favorite drink since the beginning of time. Okay. Um, wow, those look new. <laughs> you're also not like the Grinch. No, you're just disrespectful. I guess that is like the Grinch. I've been recording for two minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, goodbye.
Yeah, so we're gonna have to sink them. I got on the USPS website and I was gonna order some stamps. I don't usually order stamps on their website because they send them like this. Individually wrapped on a little cardboard. I mean, I reuse this stuff, but if I actually ordered all the stamps that I needed, I wouldn't be able to reuse all this because it's just so much. But I could not resist the spooky stamps. I love these stamps and they don't always have them at my post office. But I ordered international stamps and they came in one of these bags. Usually they come individually wrapped, but it came in this pack and I love it. 
I love this. I'm, I'm so happy about this. I ordered them because my post office didn't have enough international stamps in stock for me to buy. So I had to buy them online, which was fine. I wasn't really looking forward to the packaging, but then this came. It's just stacked in there in this little bag. I couldn't be happier. And then I saw that they had rolls of stamps. So I bought a roll of 3,000 stamps. They used to have these, but they were only, um, I'm bending over because the angle, angle of my camera is really weird. <laughs> they only had these in like American flag designs, which I'm just not crazy about. But this is a roll of 3,000 stamps. It's little orchids. I finally got around to repotting one of my favorite plants in my studio. I love this plant and it had little babies on it and it was about time because I noticed that the bottom leaves were starting to yellow and I assumed that the drainage wasn't doing so hot in the little pot it was in. And I was right, the drainage wasn't doing so hot. So I'm hoping it is going to be happy in its new home. So best wishes to my mama plant and its babies. But after this, I decided to sit down and start designing a thank you postcard for my shop. I realized when I set up my secret Patreon shop, I was selling all of my past Patreon postcards. And what I used to do with those is include them as freebies in my orders. I like to include just a little postcard. So after selling them, I no longer had that. So I decided that I wanted to combine my business card, my eco-friendly card, and the postcard into one single freebie. This is me plugging my iPad in so I can design a little freebie for my shop. Okay, so I've been designing this for what feels like forever. I wanted to do more of a design based design um not like a drawn or painted thing i wanted it to look more graphic that's the word i'm looking for i wanted to be more graphic um just because i like the way that the back of my recycled packaging card turned out like i like that i used actual typeface and it was a little more graphic than my usual um, and then I'm retiring my business cards, which I haven't redesigned for literally four years or something. Um, so I'm hoping to eliminate both of those and just have this postcard. Herc screaming for whatever reason. It's hard to keep up with. Um, so I just kind of wrote what's on my eco-friendly card that comes with your packaging. And I didn't even put... I might put my handle somewhere small, like at Lee Ellickson, because if you ordered from my shop, you probably know who I am and where to find me, but I'll put it somewhere small. Um, and then I'm also gonna make this, this was a genius idea. I'm gonna also make this my thank you note. So I'm gonna write thank you and then write the person that ordered the thing's name on this line. And then I can get rid of my post-it notes too. I think that will work kind of I'll have to figure it out with how I package my orders because the post-it notes actually help me keep them in order. So we'll see if that actually works. Maybe we'll do this, maybe we won't. But this is what I have so far. I put Toady and Herc on it. There's Toad and Herc. Whoops. But maybe that will be the back of the, I'm trying to fit in the, um, box here. So maybe that will be the back of the thank you card postcard eliminating some of my packaging because I feel like I want to change my packaging a little bit. 
I use these recycled bags and they're just a little ugly. I can't make them cute. So I might trade these out for something else, maybe a tissue paper or like a custom little paper bag or something. Um, so I'm just trying to make it an even trade of like if I don't produce these anymore, then I can trade that for some other type of packaging that could be cute. And by doing that, I'm uh, putting everything into one little postcard. So that's where we're at. Thanks for coming to my little talk here. Designing stuff like this hurts my brain. Mucho grande. That's a little bit of Spanish for you, yay. Let's close this, let's close this thing out. Um, as an update, I'm watching a fly fly around my studio. Anyways, as an update on my shop reopening, I am waiting for my drink water keychains to come in and then I can I will have all the inventory I need for my shop reopening. Um, I was thinking they would come a lot earlier than this, but I ordered a lot, so. They're somewhere in the world being made or on their way to me at this point, so I don't have a date for my shop reopening, but I'm working to get it all ready, so when the keychains come, I can open it and announce a date. If you want to stay up to date with that, uh, Instagram's the best, best place to learn about that. Um, and for my patrons, my little puppy patrons, I will of course be posting to you. And I talk about it in my videos, but my videos aren't as real time as those two platforms, so... If you're wondering, that's what's going on with that. But thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. From the bottom of my little baby heart, my little puppy patrons, hello. Thank you for coming and always watching my videos. I hope you liked it. An extra, extra amount than usual. <laughs> Stay tuned for some podcasts from me and James. James and I have been filming them, kind of practicing how it will go, testing on our equipment still. So. We've released one to my patrons so far, and we are just doing some test runs. We've filmed about three now, and they're pretty fun, casual, cool, very good. So check out our channel, Yeah Maybe Podcast. Um, there's nothing on it, so <laughs> maybe don't check it out. Um, but if you did like this video, subscribe to this channel because I do upload here, and like this video because that's just a nice little touch. I think it does something for some part of the algorithm. I don't know. Does any, I don't know. I don't do my research, but other people will say that it helps a lot more than you think. So maybe it does. <laughs> so I will catch you later. I hope you're staying safe out there. Super safe. Stay super safe out there. Make good decisions. Much love. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Am I gonna get copyrighted for that? Because that's really close to the NSYNC song.